few days. Okay, so we are installing the flitch plate here. And so what we're having to do is we are notching out, we're cutting just the end of the steel off that is gonna conflict with the inside web of the steel there. And this will allow us to then slot the plate in. So we have now installed this flitch plate as well. Timber, steel, timber. You can see it's nice and flat and flush and level the whole way across. Right tight up against this. We didn't lift this or move it. We installed this before and then we put this after, steel after, which is a real pain because we had electrical cables and uh, water pipes all in the way. Thankfully we had this gap here which means meant we could slip things out and then back and reverse it in. You would never normally do it this way. We've done it arse about face which has been a real pain but it only arrived yesterday. It, there was a huge delay because of Corona. Uh, there was a huge delay on the steel delivery for these portions of the steel for some reason. So uh, thank you COVID-19. You've added extra work for us but it's in and it's very very solid and sturdy very strong and this will support the staircase as that's the the last step that comes in and supports is supported there so the stairs will come up and the winder will come across and it will sit on that plate there so that's good that's one less thing that we need to do now all of the steels are in and secure right we are preparing to break through to the other side now which is really good so this is where the staircase is going to be we've taken all of the insulation that was in the ceiling or the floor depending on how you look at it in fact yeah no it was the ceiling because the floor insulation is now in there and, and secure we've taken all of this and we have packed up most of these holes we've got a couple more to fill in there just to stop any cold bridging or any air coming through from that part of the roof because obviously you can see daylight there so if you can see daylight it means air can get through which means there's the potential for cold transfer so we're just packing that up and we're using the old insulation to do that. So that's absolutely fine. Obviously in here it's slightly less important to pack this up because there is going to be a new roof built here. So there will be, there will be insulation there. It's more important to get it in on the sides. So I'm just gonna take this lot here. This is the last little bit that we need. <coughs> I'm gonna sh shove it in there. And then we're gonna hoover this out and clean it out so that when we cut through to the other side there is as little dust and dirt falling down as possible. So we're putting these braces across because we're obviously going to be cutting the 2x4 supports and we want to provide as much support as we can to the rest of the timbers that are going to be here. So we're bracing across to make it slightly easier and slightly less likely that the ceiling is going to fall down when we cut these when we cut these joists out. So we're bearing down and bracing right on the edge where we're going to be. Right, we're just about to hoover, but I thought I'd show you what we've done. So we have created this brace along here and then we've just propped them up screwed them in with timber locks really really secure those are kind of structural timber screws very sturdy and we've done the same over on this side like that it's not holding anything up other than well it's holding this here that's all it's doing it's just a brace what we're going to do now is we're going to hoover all of the dust and the dirt and the debris clear that out of there and then we're going to start making a big hole. There's no point in us hoovering all of that if we're not going to protect the carpet. So we're going to be putting some carpet protection down. The client has wrapped all of their walls, belt and braces, but it's it's just a really good way of making sure that it's all super clean and they've cleared all this space as well. So carpet, carpet protector is going to go down now and then we're going to start cutting the ceiling off. Thank you mate. Safety first.
There's coping here that's... Yep. Great. Be careful, it's going to be heavy. Yeah. No dropping, eh? Hold it. Yeah. Now we're going to take the timbers out. Hold that coal in here. Yep. So that wow. is all of the ceiling out that we need out. So we're finished for today, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> 20 past 10, we're done. <laughs> you tell the missus. Bit more debris down there. <laughs> Hence the carpet protectors and the, uh, the screen. Stairs are here. Just had the client tell us that the stairs have arrived. So we are going to go see what they look like. Let's see.